Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about how to handle frames in WebDriver I.O. Okay, the frames is basically it will look like this format. Okay, and even we can able to click here and click this one and click any operations, but how we can able to identify the frame and what exactly the frame. A frame can contain another HTML page inside that means we are going to divide in one page a multiple web web applications one page multiple web application this is called as a frame each frame can contain one html page or n number of html page how a frame can contain a multiple frames inside that again it is having a different web pages okay each frame can n number of frames inside that each one time like one frame is contained presented and inside that another frame a frame can have already html page and another frame is presented the same frame and again the frame again it is having another html page like that we can able to create n number of frames inside the frame or we can able to create in one page n number of frames each frame contain web application how means we can able to source page source inside the page source whenever you find that iframe you can able to get that each time over your iphone frame dot html this is the one page it is contained and another frame it is all the classes it is presented over your summary page it is contained means uh, all the time it is contained a different different web application each frame okay how we can able to identify means whenever you see this one whenever right click and inspect that moment you can able to see there are two options one is view frame source or view uh, reload frame these are the two option additional if you go and search with uh, google and if you click right click you can able to see there are two options one is inspect and view page source but when you come to here and you can able to see additional two options there is a frame source and reload frame these are the two options whenever you see these two options that contain for frame inside that okay and how many ways we can able to identify by using index position or we can able to use for idea value and we can able to use for x path these are the three options we can able to use and we can able to do it and mo moreover one more thing whenever you inside when you go for first frame first frame you inside that you're working in the first frame and you need to go for second frame and you need to walk right for in between what will happen you are walking here you are not come outside but once you walk is completed you have to go for default frame okay if you go for default frame then only you can able to work with the second frame otherwise if you are not coming for after work you are not done for default frame what will happen it will not go for second frame because inside the frame only it will search whether that particular frame whether it is presented or not because the frame is already inside that we are switched into that frame but we are not come out of that frame that's why okay if you want to do that particular operation then how we can able to do it we'll see here sample example already created sample code here and here i am going to take it for a frame first we make it for a wait and then we can able to use it for browser dot a switch to switch to frame okay and the frame it will take for id or x path or index position i'll take for index position that is a zero index position start with the zero then i'll take for zero position and then first i'll take for zero then a second frame i'll take for x path okay now i'm doing for clicking for that particular frame okay a dollar inside the frame what exactly i want to click this particular selenium okay i want to click this particular selenium there is a link basically it will uh, it be a link hyperlink okay hyperlink we can able to click and we can uh, by using equal condition okay 
and here I can able to provide double quotation and equal symbol and providing for my value. Then I'm going to use for click operation. Okay. Once I click the operation, it will go for. It will once you click this particular selenium and it will give you for this data and we need to see this one. I need to click for alert. Now I'm going to do for without window browser dot switch to frame i'll create xpath first okay before that i'll make for uh, clicking purpose a dollar and again i'm going to use for double quotation equal and i'm going to cl click for alert okay and i'll create for xpath for this second frame okay for second frame purpose and few pesos that is a name of this frame and here i'm going to inspecting and creating for my expert high frame at the rate name equal to double quotation i frame uh, name and i'm going to take that see second frame is highlighted right now i'm going to make it here my expert await a dollar and then i'm going to use for single quotation i'm passing for my value okay now you can see and after this i'll make it for this some weight then we'll go for to click i don't have any id related frames that's why i'm going to take for only index position and expert and in your case if you have id then you can able to use it now now you can see invalid argument is missing and it is showing for failed okay this is a case it is failing but i don't want to fail then what we can able to do it and we can able to once the execution is completed then i can able to use for await browser a dot switch to and you can able to provide for null Null means it will come out completely out of the frame. Or we can able to use for parent frame. Parent frame without passing any value. Like await browser dot a switch to and there is a parent parent and you can able to use for curly base. Like this, if you're using it will come for parent frame. That means starting frame it will come and remaining things it will go. If you don't want to use this word and you can able to use for this particular thing means you need to pass for null. Okay, both the cases it will work. There is no issue for that. Okay. Now I'm going to run again. Now I'm going to switch once my execution is completed. I'm going to default without any frame. And again, I'm switching to the second frame. Now again, see alert is clicked and here alert interface is game. Okay, this is the one way. And again, if you want to click another action with the parent, another th third option, again, you can able to use for third also. Create another XPath and again, you can able to click. Now again, I'm taking for this. Now again, I'll take it here, which is accept. This is the name. Even you can able to inspect this one. It is a hyperlink. Okay. And I'm going to take for here accept and again we can able to take the third frame name. now again it will throw error because uh, because i forgot to mention for this particular await condition sorry uh, default browser coming now you can see accept also it is clicked okay 
This is a way we can be able to handle for frames. I hope it this information will help you to learn about this uh, web driver. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues. And don't forget to give some comments on this video. Thank you.